Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. I have so much talent. <laughs>
delay me. And then it just began to escalate more and more and more and more. And I'm like, yo, when is this gonna reach the top? And then they, they uh, Swante made a video, Davis made a video responding. Swante's saying he's on my dick, yo, get off me. Davis is saying, yo, how can you say something like that about a dead dog? Also, stop making these false rumors about me. And they've been going back and forth and back and forth at each other for like the last two weeks. Anyway, um, let's sum it up in these tweets that they put out on Twitter. <laughs> Davis says, Swante is so weird. He lies to his viewers telling people I'm a delayer. Dudes really hate for no reason these days. Shrug. Swante responds saying, Davis little video of me talking about how Steezo dropping his vid and then me dropping an exposed video on him for as coming to del- <sighs> Swante, bro, we gotta talk about grammar, my guy. I can't be weeding these out if you don't hit it with the proper punctuations. We need the occasional period and the occasional comma and capitalize correctly. <laughs> Basically, Swante saying, get off my dick, stop following me around the park because uh, Davis was trying to get a game against him. And on the flip side, Davis is saying, you're, you're a bitch, you're running away from the park game. So it almost seems like they're gonna collide in this massive game in 2K19 that's gonna get a million views. Well, that's what I would do if I was them and I wanted to settle the drama. Just saying. Anyway, Davis took a screenshot of a, a cryptic tweet Swante put out, said, I'm a fine. <laughs> I'm a, I don't wanna get this video demonetized, so I'm gonna avoid saying such words. And then Davis kinda put like the blushing face, almost as if to troll him. So we'll see where this goes. Um, yeah, it has no ending. <laughs> For our next story of the day, guys, this one is probably the one I'm maybe most curious about, excited about, baffled by. This is unprecedented. So I've made a few videos at this point about, do you guys remember that fake NBA 2K sports page that's been pulling like millions of views making these like official trailers? And even though they're not really official, he's basically pretending to be the 2K sports on YouTube even though he's not. And he was doing a fantastic job of finessing people. Do you remember that guy? Now, I found out a few weeks ago that all his videos except two were removed from YouTube. And then I was like, why would he do that? He was basically deceiving hundreds and thousands of millions of people into believing he was the real 2K Sports account. He was putting up 2K18 gameplay saying, yo, this is 2K19. And then people were like, bro, this is the same thing. I'm not buying 2K this year. And I was like, bro, he's really fooling people. Not like Crashy Lion. Crashy Lion would delete comments and he would finesse people to like his videos to make it seem like it was legit. We knew it wasn't legit. This guy was genuinely convincing plenty of people that he was real. Long story short, I put my ear to the streets and I heard word back. Now, I don't know how true this is, but it adds up that apparently 2K sent a potential suit in his direction and he was like, yo, I can't take this to court. And then apparently his videos were taken down. But the crazy part about this was 2K didn't take his videos down because if they did, his whole video, his channel would be deleted. Once you take down three videos from a channel, like the whole channel is gone, right? So he must have taken them down himself, almost like a cease and desist. And 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 maybe what's more interesting than that, hold up, this gets even better. I'm not gonna lie, bro, I, I lost my train of thought and I felt like if I bridged it with that, Waleed, you can edit it and connect it with the next point and then I would feel like I never really lost the point when I was watching the video back. So let's just think. Okay, I found it. This is incredibly interesting because 2K never gets involved with stuff like this. Literally for the last two years, there's been a whole community of individuals Faking video, where there's a fake glitch video, pretending like they had 2K early, few months early. 2K never strikes videos down, even if it gives them a negative spin. They almost always just let people do their thing. And then when the news comes out, like everybody will know that that guy was faking it. Long story short, this would be the first time and I think a very long time 2K actually went out of their way to find a person and gun him down for doing something, I guess, illegal, fake almost deceiving people and giving them a bad name. I guess that's a note to anybody else who wants to try to do the same thing. Probably not, don't do it, it's probably a bad idea. <laughs> For our next story of the day, you're gonna feel some type of way about the story. You're either gonna be disgusted, appalled, maybe happy, you're gonna find it funny, one of the things is gonna happen. So, there was a new story that kinda went viral the other day. It was a guy who passed away, and he said one of his favorite things to do when he was alive was to play 2K, kick it with some Doritos by his side, and so instead of being in a casket, they prop mans up on his chair playing 2K with a controller in his hand, and they dead ass had the TV running, a, just you know when a demo faces a demo and they're just running a game of 2K? They had that running the entire time during the guy's funeral, which, I mean, invoked some reactions. So, a guy called Roger A. Ramsbottom, which by the way is probably one of those fantastic last names I've ever heard in my entire life, said, I know that's not a dead body propped up playing 2K, which only prompted Chris to respond, he's waiting on the cutscenes to end. 
which almost made me laugh. And then I realized, yeah, the guy's dead. But then I like chuckled inside because I couldn't let it out. It'd be too uh, inappropriate. Anyway, that was a weird story I felt like you might be interested in. I'm gonna have to block out the dead body because it's YouTube. This is not Pornhub or I guess any other news site that has different rules. Actually, why would a dead guy be on Pornhub? I'm just saying Pornhub has no restrictions. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that he should be on. He's not doing anything that's relevant to. I, I want to do one. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> go away. Go. On our next story of the day. Mike Wang put out a tweet. It's not a really relevant tweet, which is why I put it at the very end of this video. But he asked a question on Twitter, put out a poll, and he basically had how many timeouts should be allowed in a pro-am game. Honestly, I just clicked a button. I just felt like this was such an irrelevant topic. Maybe we shouldn't be asking polls about this. But then again, I'm like, yeah, he's getting community feedback, whatever. The bigger question, Mike Wang, is that can we actually take 60 seconds at a timeout to think things over? Because sometimes in a pro-am game, especially like if the other team has momentum, you just want to take a break and just think about things for a little bit and you can never do it. And I get that, that sometimes, especially in my team, people will use timeouts to be toxic at the end of game just to delay the game to piss you off. But I feel like it could be beneficial, but also it could be annoying and could prolong the game. So I don't know, Mike Wang, but could you let us know if you're going to have timeouts that are actually 60 seconds or 20 seconds would be very helpful and also help us answer this question how many timeouts should there be allowed because if there's 60 second timeouts maybe less maybe four is good right but if there's if there's like just regular ass prime timeouts i'm just saying you, you understand where i'm coming from with this right anyway prime is probably the mode i'm most excited for in nba 2k19 so i really hope they do it justice and they're not like messing up the entire mode anyway that's it for the news stories today ladies and gentlemen there was a lot more leaks and stuff that came out but honestly i'm afraid to talk about them because I don't know what 2K is striking down and what they're not striking down. So I'm only talking about topics that I know for a fact won't get my channel shut. But I will say this about the leaks. I've heard a lot of information over the last week from a bunch of different people regarding NBA 2K19. And so sometimes I'll see a leak and I'll be like, okay, I know that's true. But a lot of times I'll see a leak and I'll be like, yo, I know because I have proof that that is not true. And so don't believe every leak you see. So just when you see these leaks, yeah, treat it with a grain of salt, right? Some of these guys could be liars. And some of these leaks have conflicting reports, so it's almost difficult to know what to believe until, I guess, all the information goes public. I'm just saying, don't believe everything you see. All right, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next fake bootleg drama alert where hopefully I could talk about some of that stuff. I'm gonna catch you guys later. I said that already. All right, peace out. Drop a like. I didn't tell you to do that, but you probably already did it because you're, you're, you like me or something. Oh, and click on one of these two videos. All right, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs>